Good afternoon. Today I'd like to show you how we are going to synthesize a wafer map from the wafer and device information that we know. The reason we want to do this is that we want to send this wafer to a test and assembly house and if we provide them with a untested wafer map it will help them set up their machines much faster. Here's the information we know about our device. We know it's on a 200 millimeter wafer. We know it has a three millimeter margin where any devices in this range are considered to be edge die and we don't want to test them. We know the size of our device and we know the street width. And if we add the device size and the street width, then we'll get the stepping size. Given that information, let's use the WMAP edit program and go to the tool section and select synthesize wafer map. Now we'll enter that information into the box and we'll get our wafer map. So the units we're working in are millimeters, our wafers 200 millimeters, our margins 3 millimeters, our step size is 3.37 millimeters by 2.92 millimeters. We're going to call the dies that are inside the margin bin code 01 and we're going to call the die that are crossing the margin bin code FE. Now I just click OK there's my wafer. In addition to this plain information, it's also helpful to tell the test and assembly house where the reference die are. A wafer may have one up to five or six reference die. I'm going to define four die. And let's see, that's our reference die right there. I'm going to click on it, and you see over here under selection 1310, and it has a bin code of 01, which is a pass die, but I wanted to make it a reference die. In the map file format I'm using, FF is the code for my reference die. So I type in FF there because I don't have it available, and I type apply. It asks me if I want to make this uh, FF, and I say yes. For purposes of visibility, I'm going to make it red. Now I can see it. Now I want another reference die right there. This time it's now in the list since I just added it. So I can click FF and apply. And I want another reference die in uh, column 13. One, and I'll make that FF. And over here I'll make another reference die. FF, I'm going to click apply. So now I've got my four reference die. And also let's say that in this direction, these are special mirror die that are used by the machine's camera to find the reference die. I'm gonna mark these all as null. That is, they don't, okay. Now also these, that one. And down here, that one, that one, that one. Finally, these last two here. Now I've got my reference die, and surrounding the reference die from the outside are two mirror die or null die, okay? Let's save our map file. So we'll go to Save As. Here we can pick the different types of map files that can be saved. We're going to use a very simple one called SIMF, and we'll just call it protowafer.simf and click Save. Let's have a look at that proto wafer. I've opened it up in a text editor, and you can see these are my edge die. There's my test die. There's a couple of die isolated, which will be mirror dies. So I don't need to test them. And we can see them here also on the bottom. And we can see them on the bottom right and on the top left. I'm ready to send this to my test and assembly house. Thank you.